we got to do a job this week. I got a text message from my neighbor. It's a once in a whileer, and she is a little bit behind on doing her yard. She probably got an HOA notice. So her yard is kind of tall, her yard is kind of thick, her edges are kind of horrible, the weed eating is definitely well overdue. So we got our work cut out for us and we also have 36 hours of rain. So with that said, I start contemplating in my mind, how am I going to tackle this job? And from my experience uh, through the years, mulching really thick stuff can be a real pain in the ass. For one, it, it, it slows you down, it slows your flow. Uh, it can frustrate you to hell when the blade stops and kills the motor. Uh, when you gotta lift up the front wheels to kind of let the clog clippings and stuff come out, especially if it's damp, if it's thick, if it's tall. Um, bagging that shit will suck. Um, you definitely wanna have a special blade for that, and I'll show you that. Um, if it's available for your mower, it might not be available for your mower. Uh, it's going to fill your bag up really fast. It's really heavy. It's a real pain in the ass to have to transport heavy bags of wet grass um, or damp grass or just tall, thick grass. Um, so your other option, if mulching is kind of a pain in the ass and bagging is kind of a pain in the ass, is to side discharge it. So when you do the side discharge shoot, there's a few points that I'd like to make to you guys to help you with your side hustle. Um, this video is going to be meant for newer people that don't understand terms and never really put put it together uh, what I'm about to explain to you guys to seasoned pros and stuff like that this is all common sense to you guys you might want to just um, you know chime in with comments or something on your experiences I don't mean to waste anybody's time but I'm here to help the new guy uh, get things going for his side hustle. So we're gonna side discharge that yard. Um, so in order to do that, you need to have the right tool for the job. So let's go over the tools of the trade. That was a guy on rollerblades hauling ass. I'll keep my uh, Dan's vlog up here. Please, uh, if you like this video, if it helps you, please donate to uh, dansvlog.com please go there it takes you directly to the st jude children's research hospital it's so important guys the marathon is coming up november 4th and 5th and these families really need our help we have a huge platform right here there's there's over 9,000 of you subscribed to my channel please if everybody just gives 30 cents even 30 cents that's enough money to save so many families so much grief um so please, if you can, if you can, you can donate anonymously or you can do it in your name and I'll put a nice little video together um, from the marathon and thank everybody that uses their name and thank you by name so you get a little recognition. Uh, if you wish to stay anonymous, you can do that too. You could do a dollar, you could do 50 cents, you could do a thousand dollars, whatever you want to do. But please help uh, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. I don't see any of the money, it all goes to them. Dan's vlog, it's just easy for you to remember, it's a short link. All right, so let's get right to it. So we are going to side shoot, side discharge, whatever you want to call it, side throw um, the clippings, all right? You got bagging, you got mulching, and you got side discharge. The advantages of side discharge, the mower can keep going a little bit quicker. You can keep your flow. If you remember my previous videos, I'll put a link to that right here about your flow. Um, you can keep your flow going and the blade will stay sharper longer. Because mulching, you're constantly recirculating the grass until it's a teeny, teeny little piece. And then, you know, and you're slowing down the blade, you're slowing down the motor, and it dulls out the blade kind of quicker. And it puts a little bit more, more strain on your motor, a little bit more strain on you. Sometimes, like I said, you got to lift up the front wheels. You know, if you're cutting some thick stuff, mulching is harder on the machine, harder on the blade, and harder on the person, harder on the operator. All right, I mean, that's just a fact. Um, but if you want to side shoot it, if your mower has shot side shoot capability, and I personally would not buy a motor or a lawn mower that can't side shoot, or it better be one heck of a freaking mower. Um, that Commercial 21 by Xmark cannot side shoot, and I know a pro lawn guy that irritates the piss out of him. So $1,100, $1,200 for a mower, and he's irritated. 
doesn't make sense to me for a push mower. That doesn't make sense to me. That just that just tells me that that mower has has flaws, and I mean, it's not his fault. I mean, it's just that mower has flaws. Um, for twelve hundred dollars, I accept no flaws. Not in a, not in a twenty inch. I mean, that thing better butter my bread, put syrup on my pancakes, and cut the baddest yards in the world. We're gonna talk about blades, okay? And choosing the right blade for the job. And we're gonna stick to basically to the twenty inch models and. Try to give you some information so you can take that to your local lawn service, lawn mower shop, or to Lowe's or Home Depot or Ace or True Value or whatever mom and pop or on the internet. You could try to find the blade that's going to best serve your purpose. And I would recommend that you get one of each and you keep them all sharp. So here we go. First up, the standard blade that we get when we get a 20 inch mower like a Troy Build, um, an Aaron's, um, you know, a pull-on, a craftsman. Basically, they're gonna give you what's called a three-in-one, all right? This is gonna be designed to mulch, to bag, and to side discharge. What it does is, if you see this spot right here, it goes up, then it goes down to the cutting edge, and it goes up, and that's a cutting edge, and that's a cutting edge. So you have here and here, almost like twin blade technology on the Hondas, and the ninja blade on the snapper and and not quite cross blading but you see how you got two layers you got two levels two different height levels what that does is it allows the grass blade to get cut once and then cut in half again and then again and again and again as the next blade comes around the grass gets cut here goes up in the air and the next one here comes around this is higher cuts it one more time all right that makes your clipping smaller this serves the purpose of mulching that serves the purpose mulching then you have your wing right here you have your tip your blade tip or your blade wing and there's different names for it this was oh, starting to rain this is going to determine the airflow the three-in-one blade is going to be a general blade for all three purposes for bagging for mulching for side discharge it might work best for mulching if the grass isn't too too bad it's not going to work great for side discharge and it's not going to work great for bagging but it'll get the job done it's just not going to work great and the reason being is the, the tip right here the wing this wing is small it's not aggressive so it's not creating a lot of air it's not creating a lot of flow this blade is going to be better for mulching with the two layers here and to a degree it'll be okay for side discharge and it'll be okay for bagging this is the type of blade that I've been using in my videos all this year on my Troy build. It's a three in one. It's a general blade. All right. You got your little tip here. So what do you do when you want to have more flow because you want to side discharge? Now, let me explain to you what that means. More flow means as the blades going around, this wing tip is creating a lot of air. That's why cross blading works so well. It creates so much air and with the side chute open, it's blowing that grass out. It's sucking the air in from the edges of the deck, creating a huge vacuum and then going out the only way it can go and that's gonna be out the side, the side chute, the side discharge, a lot of air. Well, how do you do that without cross blading and adding all that weight? You shop for blades that are called high lift. A high lift blade is gonna have a far more aggressive angle here this this high lift blade you see how the tip is very aggressive and it's got some distance to it too all right contrast that to a regular blade for the same machine it doesn't have as much of an aggressive angle as this one does this one has less angle and not only is it less angle but it also tapers down as it goes so it's even less here than this one is this is going to create a lot more wind. This is going to create less wind. This would be a general blade, good for all things, pretty good. This is going to be a badass blade for bagging, a badass blade for side discharge because it's throwing the clippings out of the deck or up into the bag. This might not be a great blade for mulching because if you got a mulch plate on, and you have all this wind being created, sometimes too much wind will cause the clippings to not circulate properly and just beat them into the ground. And then you're left with too much clippings after you mulch. I'll take you back to the Xmark 
21 commercial where I picked up a bunch of grass. Remember when I said that thing was fantastic for bagging? I mean, it was just amazing. That's because the blades that are on it, the blades that come with it are pretty aggressive lift. They are the generic three in one blade, but they have a pretty aggressive lift. They really vacuum that grass up. If you're not bagging though, and it does not have a side discharge and you're mulching, it was too much wind. You needed to do something different. For $1,200, I don't wanna to have to do something different. I would expect it to be better than what it was. But this high lift blade is what's gonna create the wind that's gonna get the clippings as you're mowing your yard and you have the side shoot open, much like the cross blade videos, and it's gonna help process the clippings and get it out the deck. That's gonna keep your blade tip, um, your blade speed, your blade tip speed humming along. It's gonna keep you flowing along. And it's gonna be less times that the grass clippings are actually making contact with the blades. Cuts them and it throws it out, gets it out the deck. And that mower's just moving. So that is a high lift blade. So when people refer to you and say, oh yeah, you need to get a high lift blade, that's what they're talking about. They're talking about this right here. This is your lift, okay? That's your high lift blade. That creates the wind that pushes the clippings out of your deck or, you know, out the side, or lifts the clippings and throws it through your bag. And remember I said, if you can't see through the bagger, then air can't go through the bagger. And if air can't go through the bagger, then all the lift in the world ain't gonna flow. It'd be like mulching again. So you gotta have clean bag, clean it out, make sure it's not all full of dust, and you gotta have high lift blades High lift blades is going to make side discharge and bagging far easier than anything else. You have to check for the availability for your machine if high lift blades are possible. I cannot get high lift blades for my Troy build. They don't make a high lift blade. The only thing that I can do is keep this blade fresh. And what that means is maybe once a month, maybe once every two months, depending on as this wears down and this will wear down. I've seen blades that are so old there's no lift at all from sand and everything just beating this down and it just deteriorates the metal. Make sure that you got your good wings here. If you're having a problem bagging, if you're having a problem with side shoot, your wings, your tips might be just worn down, just old. You might need to go purchase a new blade and a new blade isn't just sharp. A new blade isn't just well balanced, but a new blade has the wing. So keep that in mind if you're using a little cheap 20 inch mower and it's just not working very well with side discharge or bagging. Check the dirt of your bag, make sure it's clean, make sure you got a blade that's not just sharp, but it has a good wing. If not, see if you can locate a high lift blade for that machine and that, and that machine will come to life when it comes to bagging and side discharge. But you have to be careful, I caution you against mulching. All right, three in one blade, we'll get it all done, just might not be as fast or as efficient as you'd like it to be. High lift blade, we'll get bagging and side discharge clippings processed super fast, you'll hum along, but it might make mulching slower. Could cause a problem from mulching, all right? High lift blades. Side discharge, bagging, badass, all right? Next up, we got your standard, regular old blade that comes on your machines, like your, this is the Gravely blade that I had for my 42 inch, came with three of these, all right? This was just your standard blade. This was basically your, your two-in-one. It was actually, let me take that back. This is your blade that's standard for side discharge, okay? If you bought a bagger, you would wanna get the high lift blades like this. If you're gonna mulch, then you'd wanna get, you'd wanna either keep this on or go with a different blade altogether that creates even less wind. Mulching does not want wind. Mulching wants aggressive blades, aggressive sharpness. Mulching wants multiple layers of blade like this, okay? And mulching wants less wind. So you have, one more time, high lift for side discharge and bagging. You have your three-in-one basic blade that comes factory on the unit. See if you can get it replaced with a high lift. Probably not, depending on the brand. In that case, keep your blade fresh. Keep purchasing new blades every once in a while. It makes a big difference, okay? 
you got a bigger machine, you bought a bigger machine, you got a walk behind or something like that that has the side chute and you're thinking about putting a mulch plate on it, um, then you don't want to get aggressive blades that have a high lift. You want to stay with what you got, stay with what the company gave you, or if you want to be a mulcher, if you want to mulch and just mulch and really only mulch with your 20 inch Troy built and you really only want to mulch with your 36 inch walk behind or your 32 inch walk behind or your 42 inch zero turn or whatever that you're using then you consider the gator blade and why they call these gator blades is because the backs are like a gator if you had another blade set here then if you look down the back of an alligator they got all those bumps right well here's all those bumps and here's all those bumps so it's like looking down the back of an alligator I think gator blades these create virtually no lift these blades are designed to chop the shit out of clippings and that's it so as your straight edge comes around and cuts it you got this is sharp this is sharp this is sharp even though they're up these are not really creating wind not much anyways they are but not much no more wind is created here than probably is created with the low lift the regular blade that comes with it maybe even less less lift less wind that means awesome for recycling the clippings right under the deck the winds not trying to blow out the clippings aren't blowing out like you watched 21 do when it blew out the side and I went slow motion with that X mark 21 it's not gonna blow wind out the side of your deck and out from underneath your deck and all that crap okay this is going to cut the clippings and it's going to continue to cut the clippings. That's what gator blades are for, okay? So, I say gator blades, but these are copper heads, but, they, you know, there's gator, just, that's what it's called. If you do a search for gator blade, gator, gator blades, you can find them. Now, I'm 99.99% certain you can find this type of blade with the gator back I believe they're yellow and I believe they're made by Arnold. I believe you can find them at Lowe's and I believe they'll fit your Troy Bill and your Craftsman. Uh, but don't take that to the bank, but check on that. You might be able to find them. I believe they're yellow and they're called Arnold's. That is going to make your little 20 inch mower, 21 inch mower, whatever you got, a mulching machine like there's no tomorrow you throw these blades these aggressive blades like this on there don't put your side chute on don't put your bag attachment on not really going to work that good designed for mulching mulch is like a champ why don't i use them because i don't want to be dedicated to just mulching i want to be able to throw the bag on when i want and not know you know not be like damn it i gotta change my blade because that blade sucks it's not gonna do it or side discharge and it really isn't working that good if I have a set of blades on like this, I'm mulching. I don't care if a customer comes up and says, can you do my yard, it hasn't been done in three months, I'm gonna mulch it because I got the blade on. Otherwise, I'm gonna take the blade off and I'm gonna put the proper blade on and then I'm gonna side discharge it. And that's what this video is about. I'm gonna side discharge a lawn and I'm, I want to explain to you guys that what you are gonna see, you're gonna see the factory three-in-one blade, but not this one. A newer one that's on Detroit build working with the side discharge and I know that if I could find a high lift blade it would work a little bit better it would throw the stuff out of the side of the deck better if it had a higher lift you see the lift okay you new guys you getting it now the higher the lift the more wind the more wind the more it goes out the side of the deck side discharge side shoot mowing or it goes up and into the bag so if you're bagging or mulching, or bagging or side discharge, high lift. If you're mulching, look for gator blades. If you're gonna be like me, and you're gonna do side discharge on one lawn, you might bag another yard, and then you're gonna mulch the rest of your yards, then you stick to this. Stick to the factory blade, and just deal with it. Otherwise, bring a wrench, bring all your blades, and switch your blades out before each lawn. But don't complain, <laughs> don't complain if your bag attachment's not working all that great and you got a two-year-old blade on that mower and you never changed it and got 
a blade that now has better lift or did the homework and look to see if you could find a blade with more lift. Um, don't complain if your mower is not mulching for crap if you didn't put the yellow Arnold Gator blades on there that you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot. But then don't complain if you put these on there and then it doesn't side discharge for shit because these aren't really making that much wind. I'll tell you this much. The truth is when I bought a set of these, I took them off pretty darn quick when I was side discharging with my zero turn. Um, I was thinking about getting the shoot blocker, the automatic shoot blocker, because I didn't want to have a permanent mulch plate on because then you're limited. I don't like mulching all the time. Sometimes it's better to be able to side discharge. So when I tried these blades, I couldn't wait to take them off. It just wasn't processing the clippings and throwing it out the side of the deck like it should have been. And with a side discharge, I was spending too much time mulching because it really wasn't throwing the clippings out. But then some clippings were coming out. So I had the, I had the negative effects of side discharging where you have to chase your clippings and you have to cut in a square to keep the clippings on the inside of you. I had that going on and I had to slow down so it would properly mulch. I didn't like that. When I side discharge, I want to be able to move, I want to be able to aim, aim my clippings to an area that I have either already cut and then I lay the clippings on that cut area or I cut the middle out and then I just square the yard and I keep bringing the clippings in, 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 in into the middle. If it's too much, I rake them up. If it's not too much, then I might take the side discharge shoot off real quick and then the clippings are already cut, the grass is already cut. Regardless of what blade is on there, it'll be okay to mulch. Now you're, you're mulching something that's already been cut once twice and you just moved it to the middle now you can mulch it up and for that you can pretty much use any blade because the grass is already cut you already cut the middle out we'll go over that in the next video i'm going to show you how i side discharge i'm going to show you how i direct my clippings i'm going to show you how i clear an area to make it so i can direct my clippings and i'm not i'm not cutting clippings and or excessive amount of clippings and trying to mow the lawn at the same time so I'll show you guys that in the next video. That's going to be coming up in the next day or two. This video, I just wanted to explain to you all the lingo about this crap. Again, somebody's going to tell me too long, too whatever, don't really give a shit. I'm speaking to everybody from all over the world, all over the nation, and all different education levels. And I hope you guys understand. Lift, generic blade, generic blade. Don't expect too much from generic blades. High lift, great for bagging, great for side discharge. Gator blades, great for mulching. Don't expect too much for side discharge or bagging. That's it, guys. That's, that's blades in a nutshell for really, for the beginner, for what you want to know. So if you're out there mowing and you're having a hard time doing something, it's just not mulching the way you expected it to, invest in a set of gator blades. If you're bagging yard and it's just not vacuuming it up as well as you thought it could, Look for blades that have a high lift or look for blades that look, look to see if your blade is so old like this one that the lift is kind of worn out and the dirt and sand will wear this down. It'll thin this out. It'll edge this off and you lose a lot of wind that way. All right, guys. So anyways, leave your comments below. Check those cool links down below. Um, I, I try to put everything up that I do on a daily basis, what I use and um, so, and I show you guys, I actually do have that stuff. You checked that last video. Uh, so that's it. All right. So next video, we're going to put all this knowledge to work. We're going to side discharge a yard. It's in pretty rough shape. We're going to do a little cleanup and uh, we'll take it from there. Appreciate you guys very much. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.